Hello, hello guys. How are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Season 3 is finally here and I have the best classes for you guys to use in rank play. I've used a bunch of different variations and these are going to be the ones I would suggest using. So, I'm not going to delay it. I know you guys want to be cracking on to rank play. Without further ado, let's crack into it. So, first things first, this is my current tack build. Um, it's for max ADS. So I pretty much play, when I'm playing as a tackle, I play as a flex sort of role. I'm not the one holding dirty angles and playing dirty head glitches. I'm being a little bit more aggressive. This is the role for that. I do have a little bit more of a stable one. Um, so give this a go. If you feel like the recoils are a little bit too um, outrageous for you, try this one. This one shoots absolute beams. It's a little bit more steady, but the ADS isn't quite as good. ADS is still cracked. Um, but yeah, I'd use this if the other setup isn't quite as uh, controllable as you might find. The only difference is it's the Cardinal stock instead of the X-Line Pro and it's the Commando foregrip instead of the um, Shark Fin. So yeah, definitely worth looking into. Um, for the pistol, which I have on my um, first class here, these are the attachments you have. Fairly straightforward. This pulls it up really quickly. Um, makes you be able, this trigger makes you shoot quicker and then the barrel obviously does movement and ADS speed. We then go into the SMG, so the Vaznev. Currently, it had a little bit of a nerf to the headshot damage, but that doesn't really change the class setup. This is my go-to class setup. Um, the ADS is a little bit lackluster, and if you do find that that is the case, I'd recommend taking off this. Uh, if you find like it's not as snappy as you want it, take off the muzzle, and then instead of the true tack grip, put on the Demo X2 grip. A little bit more snappy, um, but it is slightly a little bit more recoil. But this is my overall all-round good version of class to have again use a the pistol there and then i snipe quite a lot so if you guys want to know sniper class this is it um so it's the spx 10 spx 10 spx 80 we're going to be using only three attachments you wanted mx dmr precision the bruin lynx grip and for high velocity you don't get much flinch with it it's super steady you don't have to hold down your breath for it to be really pinpointly accurate um, it's definitely worth using and i've also got a new intervention class for you uh, it's not called the intervention it's called the imperium for whatever reason um but this is actually my go-to intervention class i tried it out a couple of times i still prefer this spx but if you guys want to try try the new gun i've found out that this is the setup that i like to be using so yes without further ado that is the uh that's the that's that's it i'm afraid it's a nice short and sweet video i didn't want to keep you guys for too long um because as i say you guys want to be cracking on into ranked um that's the guns. Perk-wise, I use pretty much the same perks. Double time bomb squad fast hands. Um, the only thing I don't use that on is a sniper because um, I don't really feel like I need to. I'm sort of playing off angle, so I want to protect myself by from both stuns and nades. But obviously, fast hands are still a thing. And then frags and semtex, is, it sort of depends on the game mode and, for example, life. So I throw frags if it's uh, better, and I change it out to a semtex mid-game. But yeah, generally speaking, semtex is my most used. Um, but yeah, that's going to pretty much do it. And you guys are going to notice I like having a pistol as my secondary just because the uh, the, un the old knife glitch is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, I hope you don't feel like this is a rush video. I just wanted to get the info out to you guys as quickly as I could. And enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao.